Hello friends, it's me. And today we are watching some relatable TikToks. Or watching TikToks to see if they're relatable. When your family makes something they know you don't eat for dinner. I hate it here. This house is a prison. This was not me. I was not a picky eater at all. I loved my mom's food and everything she cooked. But my brothers, my mom would make some beautiful homemade meals. We would have rice, kebab, and veggies. And he'd be like, I want to go to Quiznos and have a Quiznos sandwich. I googled Quiznos sandwich. Yeah, they don't actually look Look like this like you want this over this it makes no sense but when I was a kid there was no DoorDash there was no Postmates your parents make something you don't want to eat you grab a bag of Cheetos and go upstairs when you have two things in your hand and you're trying to remember which one to throw away. When I found this TikTok, I was just like, so I'm not an idiot? It's it's not just me whose brain just randomly decides to turn off when I have an important task to do. Like I'll be holding trash with one hand and then the phone and then I'll just be like. This haunts me because I've accidentally thrown away my AirPods. At the gas station, like when I get gas, I'll usually like take all the trash out of my car and throw it away. But sometimes I'll be holding like my phone or my AirPods and then I'll be like, uh, and accidentally threw away the AirPods. Too many tasks at hand. How I hold my phone when I get near a balcony. <laughs> When I tell you, my grip intensifies. I cannot afford to drop this. My entire life is on this thing. Especially since I got Butterfingers already. You can't trust me with phones around heights. When you're about to leave your room, but then realize if you do, there's a 99% chance your mom will give you an unwanted side quest. Close the door. Back to the room. Man, watching all these videos, y'all are so lucky that you have a door with a lock on it. Yeah, my parents took my lock. There was a permanent hole through my door. No privacy. My BF, I bet you want a man who acts like how the men do in your books. Me, if I was in a room with somebody who acted like the men in the books I read. But as somebody who enjoys some spicy Wattpad stories, I can tell you now, having somebody like that in real life is scary. Like you tell them to stop and they don't stop. Then what? That's why we read these things from the safety and comfort of our own phone. I don't care what the guy looks like, I don't want to have a you situation in real life. The dudes in my book are as hot as they are Scary. No. <laughs> My family. You never acted autistic when you were a kid. My childhood sketchbook. It just keeps going. Just how many times can you draw the dinosaur? Okay, but me, but when you draw that fancy S with the lines, I don't know how many times that was drawn on every page of my notes. It was just so satisfying. I did a lot of weird things as a kid. During recess, me and my two friends would take spoons from the cafeteria and then go to the back of the playground where there was a fence and start digging and digging and digging and every day we would just like dig a little bit more. I don't know, I think we were trying to like keep digging until we got to like the center crust of the earth. You know, the layer that looks like the sun. You know, looking at this diagram, I don't even think we made it through the crust. I don't know why I was like, keep digging minions. Every recess we are going to slave away just bit by bit until we reach the warmest part of the earth. Because they told us in school, they're like, the lower you go, the hotter the earth gets. And I was just so determined to reach the warm layer of dirt. <laughs> This is so weird. POV, that one friend who can't hear. My house almost got robbed yesterday. My whole family could have died. <laughs> no. yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. Oh, I'm not hungry. Did you hear me? I'm not hungry. No. My Half the time, I'm just like up in my own world. People ask me something, I'm just like, yeah. And they're like, what do you mean, yeah? What, what did you ask me again? I asked if you'd been with me a million dollars. Sometimes you gotta pay attention to what people say. You know, being the friend that can't hear, the worst part is when you ask somebody to repeat themselves like three times and you still didn't get it. And then you're just like scared to ask them a fourth time to repeat themselves. And you're just like, yeah, <laughs> I cannot tell you guys the amount of times that has happened. Just nod and move on. Me while my whole family is waiting in the car for me. Natalia! Natalia! Me when I text on my way. Like, hold on! I was supposed to be there 15 minutes ago. I haven't even done my hair yet. Like, y'all gotta chill. Give me some time, please. POV, someone is walking towards the bathroom. <laughs> I threw the party of the century. The people came over, no one left sober. Oh, my stomach hurts, man.
I don't know what it is. The sound of pee is embarrassing. Especially being in like a quiet apartment or like a house where like your friends are like nearby and then the bathroom is like right here. Like I will try to go to the farthest bathroom away but like if the bathroom is right here and my friends are right here, I'm gonna turn on the sink while I pee. I don't know, I just have a thing. I don't want people to hear me pee. It's it's weird. I'm pee conscious. Self-conscious of my pee audio. It sounds normal but like, I don't know. I have this unreasonable fear that I'm gonna walk out and they're gonna be like, I don't know, comment on my pee stream. I'm gonna let the water run. Not so eco-friendly of me, sorry. You know what saves this? When you go to a public bathroom in Japan and you sit on the toilet, there's actually a button to play waterfall sounds. So if you're like fighting for your life in farts, you press the sound button and it sounds like you're sitting under a waterfall and nobody can hear your fart box playing six tracks off your newest album. Bath time. That's impressive. When you had the most feral gossip session with your friend and feel alive again. <laughs> Literally, my friend will be in bed all day, and then I go to visit, and then we just like unload weeks worth of tea that we have acquired since the last time we saw each other. Also, I don't know what it is. Just talking badly about other people make you feel alive again. Yeah, that's why people love drama so much. POV, you leave a little bit of food in the container so the next person that gets them has to wash it. You are the worst kind of people. You know, because I'm usually the one that opens up the container, excited to eat spaghetti, and see that there was a ball of three penne pastas in the corner. Thank you for thinking of me. Now I have to wash it too? You're all <laughs> Me as a kid having a mental breakdown because I could feel the bumpy part of the sock when I walked. <laughs> I know exactly what you are talking about. I don't know what it is. It's like the sock material rolled up. Take off the sock, get a new one. Throw that one away. Literally drives me insane. POV, step in water with socks on. Okay, we all know how horrible this is. So I actually hung out with somebody the other day. I spilled a little bit of my drink, right? And she was wearing socks. She wiped it up like a Swiffer with her sock. Like your socks are wet now, are, are, are you okay? Why did you do that? Like it's water, it would have dried. Well, I like wet socks. Excuse me, you, you what? I like wet socks. Okay, so I guess this doesn't apply to everybody. You learn something new every day. You know, one of the most uncomfortable feelings to most people can be comforting to some, I guess. My intrusive thoughts whenever I pass the water cases. You know, I look at this now and I'm like, you're an animal, why are you doing this? But I used to do this all the time as a kid. I don't know what it was. Feeling my bare finger just penetrate the plastic of the case. Oh man, I felt powerful. It was just nice to just poke things. I have nails now, I can't do that. I'm not gonna risk breaking a nail over this. Grow up. Me trying to clean my room, but I keep finding old stuff and getting distracted. This is the number one reason I cannot clean my room. I have so much stuff that I have lost over the years. And it's like, oh, wow. And then I'll spend like several minutes either playing with the object or reading it or using it. Oh, I found this lipstick that's expired three years ago. I'm gonna go put some on right now. Wow, looks great. Okay, what was I doing again? And then it's like 1.32 in the morning and my room is still messy. When you didn't finish your food, so you have to hide it. This is so sad, but we all do this. You don't want grandma to see? Like, take the plate, you cover it, take some tissues, put it on top. Like, I loved it, it was so tasty. I finished my food. What are you talking about? POV, you're getting gas. Nine or 10. Check it again, it's actually nine, and then you forget when you walk in. I don't wanna accidentally give the wrong pump gas. No, the worst is when you have to walk into a gas station and pay and they don't have Apple Pay at the pump. They don't have Apple Pay at the pump, and I ain't never going back there again. Also, you have a Rolls Royce. Why are you going inside to pay? Unless you're paying with cash. So why are you paying for gas with cash? Is this illegal money? When your alarm hasn't gone off yet, but the amount of sleep you're getting is suspicious. Yeah, you know, I don't like to check my phone when I'm in bed, but like sometimes you gotta like, just make sure you didn't oversleep. Like, hmm, naturally waking up at 6 a.m. I'm feeling refreshed, my alarm didn't go off, like something is suspicious here. And then you go back to sleep and then you wake up exhausted. Like, how does that work? I think when your alarm wakes you up, it just feels like, wake up, there's been an emergency, your entire family is dead, wake up now. Literally how it feels like to wake up on that alarm. Clean body, clean bed. Oh, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. POV, you think the waitress is coming with your food? <gasps> Why you be edging me like that? The worst is when it's the same thing that you ordered and she come by like, oh, that's my food. And then just gives it to the table next to you. 
POV, you're washing your face over the sink, but the water from your elbow keeps dripping. Can somebody explain why this is? Like, it literally, like, you wash your face, the water just will be running down and onto the floor in a puddle where you can splash your little feet. Yeah, there gotta be a better way to do this. Y'all remember those super extra face wash commercials? I feel like there would be less water on the ground washing your face like this. <laughs> you know, maybe Neutrogena was onto something. POV, you're too lazy to wash the dishes, so you use the air as a cutting board. <laughs> I mean, when you guys watch me do hack videos or any cooking videos, I cut everything on my counter. Today's not the day I'm gonna wash a cutting board. But like, air cutting? That's low-key impressive, what? Okay, I don't know about the tomatoes. This, is, this seems very dangerous. You, know, you might not have to wash a cutting board, but you might end up in the emergency room when you slice off your finger. Maybe that's a risk some people are willing to take. POV, seven-year-old me, making it seem like I ate more than I did. <laughs> I swear there was a cartoon or something that said like move the food around in your plate to make it seem like you ate more than you actually did because I remember watching a show and I learned that. I never did this with my mom's food. Her food was always fire. But like whenever I would go to somebody else's house, I'd be moving the food around. You know, making it empty in the middle. I think they were onto something. Like look at all the macaronis I ate in the middle. Oh, I'm full. I can't take no more of this. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and that. And comment below which one was the most relatable. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.